Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to do this morph uh, from logo to logo or text to text or number to number um, using the Saber plugin so it's kind of like a really neat effect. Um, here's a countdown I made and then also here's like a little logo transition. Actually this will have to render through real quick. Um, but this is really sweet for intros or a countdown or like an outro or something just to morph logos from one to the other or do a countdown at the beginning of a video or something like that. Um, it's also just a good thing to know. And the normal morph is something a lot of people don't know in general. Um, so hopefully you guys learn about that if you don't already. Uh, but adding the Saber plugin too is really cool I think. And there's a lot of potential with this. Um, like you can have the Saber plugin um, appear and then do the morph and then go away which was something that I played around with that was kind of cool um, and stuff like that uh, but before we get into this I just want to let you know I am sick so sorry if I sound different or stuffy uh, or whatever but let's just go ahead and get started first thing you want to do though is download the Saber plugin I'll have a link to that in the description if you're unfamiliar with downloading plugins I will find something that will teach you how to do that or show you how to do that so I don't have to spend time in this video and that will also be in the description but first things first I'm gonna create a new composition here and call it toots um, I'm using just a 720p size document frame rate 29 15 seconds um, that doesn't really matter though you can use whatever you want um, it won't matter too much click OK and we're gonna go layer new um, text or you can get the text tool double click it or get it and click in the middle or whatever you want and we're gonna do a countdown from 5 to 1 so I had a problem when I did mine when I did 5 if I typed in 5 and I did the path it went to 4 and I don't know why I did it but it fixed itself last time I tried so hopefully it's working now um, so I'm just gonna do a countdown I'm gonna type in my text here and I'm actually gonna Go down to align here, um, align horizontal and align vertical. If you don't have align, um, all you need to do is go to window align like that and now it should be centered. I'm also going to click this here, the pan behind or anchor point tool and I'm going to click that and bring it to the center for now. Cool. And the font I'm using for this by the way is right here. I don't know how to say that, like Bajas or something, um, but I want all my numbers to be one path. And what I mean by that is if, um, say, like zero will have a path on the outside and then a path in the zero or inside, a path on the outside and a path on the inside, which is two paths. A five obviously here only has one path that goes all the way around, and that's what I want. Um, so, like a six would have a six and then one in the middle and that's two paths and that can get confusing with this because um, you need to have the same amount of paths for each um, number or each logo or whatever you're morphing to so to keep it simple I just am going to be using uh, this font and numbers that are just one path and um, if you use more it might get a little hectic so I advise at least if you're following along just to use one path as well um, but anyway, let's go ahead and copy this layer uh, a few times and get the countdown. Alright, so I have five through one here. And now what I'm going to do is individually right click on them and create shapes from text. And I'm going to do that all the way down the line. There we go. Once you do that, you can go to the original text layers and delete them. Uh, we don't really need them. And then go to layer, new, solid, and just have a black solid. And we'll call this CD for countdown. Um, and click OK. Now, all we're going to do is copy the paths um, to 
the CD layer. Um, if you open this up though, you can see it just says transform. And all I would do is go to the pen tool and click while this layer is selected. Click and then it will create a masks tab down here, which is what we want. So first thing you want to do is go to the five outline or whatever the first path is that you want to have start out. So if you want a Facebook and Twitter logo and you want Facebook first, you want to get the Facebook logo. And since this is a countdown, I want to start with the five because it's the highest number. And we're going to go into the contents, five, five again, and then we should have this path here. Click the word path and then command C. Go to the countdown layer, open masks, mask one, go click the stopwatch on the mask path and that'll create a keyframe and you just want to command V. And now that path will be there. And um, if you have multiple pa uh, paths, like I was talking about earlier, you want multiple masks here um, so that can work. So you'll have to create more than one mask. But like I said, that's a little complicated. I haven't gotten around to it working right, so that's why I'm only sticking with one path. Um, anyway, let's move the, um, the head here to one second, and we're gonna go to the next number, which is four, open that up to the same place, copy the path, go back up to the countdown, click the mask path again, and command V. And you just wanna do that for all your numbers, letters, logos. All right, there we go. So I went through and have them. So five, four, three, two, one. Obviously they changed too quick, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. First, we wanna add our actual plugin so we can see what's going on here. So you can uh, do this a few ways. I'm just gonna go to the effects and presets um, little window, type in Saber, or you can go effect um, video copilot Saber and go ahead and just drag that on the countdown path. Um, for a preset, you can pick any of your preset or you can customize what the actual Saber looks like. I went with Arc Reactor because I think it's my favorite one and I'll just stick with that. Uh, we might have to tweak some of the settings though so it's not too crazy. Um, then go to Customize Core once you've um, picked the one you liked. And instead of Saber as a core type, we want to go two layer masks and boom now it will be our path obviously this is up a little too high so if we go to mask here just click that and use the arrow arrow tools to bring that down that's what we want and actually i might yeah you have to do that for each keyframe All right, there we go. I centered all of them now. Um, that's a lot better. Um, now we want to select all these keyframes here. And I'm going to copy Command C, put the arrowhead in between the first two, and Command V. Now, what that'll do is keep that the numbers there for a second, or half a second rather. And then they take a half a second to change, half a second to stay. And let me just render this out to show you real fast. So this is sort of what it looks like. You can see it's pretty quick. So if you want, you can take the last two, move them, um, then the next two, move them, etc., etc., to change the time. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, but I'm gonna select all of them and bring them out a little further. And then I'm gonna right click Keyframe Assistance, Easy Ease, or F9, and that will um, just make them a little nicer. And we can go into this um, graph editor and actually select all of these and slightly uh, drag the arrows up so they go quicker and then slower. 
So let's just try that out real fast. All right, so. That's, I like that look uh, a lot. It's like nice and quick. Uh, again, though, you can change the timing so it takes longer so you can see the, see the effect or whatever. Um, and that's basically the effect. I'm going to show you a couple more things, though, here. I'm um, sorry about that. Um, some things you can do with the Saber plugin that makes it slightly different than um, just doing this normally. Um, you can actually go to the effects tab here, open up Saber. And we'll do this at like one second. And we'll go custom core and start offset. We'll click that, it should be at 0%. And then go forward, put it at 100. And then we'll do the same thing we just did with the keyframes. So select them both, easy ease, get the graph, click a point, and just kind of bring it in a little bit. And that will just give us a nice, like, little um, starting point to create the effect. And then, boom, it goes into it. And then we can reverse that at the end to make it disappear um, or whatever. Um, and I think that's pretty neat. You can also change things like color. So if you want to come to, like, the beginning of when it switches from 5 to 4, so like right here is where it begins to switch, come to the color glow, click the stopwatch, and then go to the... Well, the beginning of the four and change the color uh, maybe to red and you can see boom it makes the color change as well and you can do the same keyframe stuff here um, but you might want to go through and do each one so let's go to the next one this is when the forward change click the keyframe so it's red and then boom we'll change it here to like green or something boom so five four three and then you could continue that on so let me play the whole thing out here what we have and that's basically it guys um, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please drop a like um, be sure to check out my patreon page down below in the description you guys can get everything from my videos including this file which will be available down below if you're not a patreon member though the file will be available in about a week or two and you can download it there anyways be sure to subscribe for more tutorials follow me on twitter at quezzy and i will see you guys next time peace